Hi everyone, let us discuss this concept roots of complex number. So we are already familiar with square root, cube root, fourth root. Similarly, we have a nth root. We can find nth root of any complex number. C consider two complex numbers z and w having this relation w raised to n is equal to z. So if you take nth root of both sides, what will we have? w is equal to z raised to 1 by that means w is nth root of z okay so let me mention that thing here therefore w is nth root of z okay so this is the actual meaning of nth root of any complex number so let us discuss one result so in that result we are going to discuss very important thing about nth root of complex number make a screenshot of it then we will go further let us discuss this result See, this result says if you have any complex number z, which is non-zero, getting z is not equal to zero. With this relation w raised to n is equal to z, then it will have n number of distinct solutions and the solutions are given by this one. Okay, wk is equal to nth root of r, e raised to i, theta plus 2k pi by n and k varies from 0 to n minus 1. See here r and theta has a usual meaning. You know that r means mod z modulus of z and theta means argument of z. So see, we have to prove this result. Okay, we have to prove this theorem. Let us see how to prove it. So we will start with a given information. We have, let me write, we have z is a complex number, right? And z is not equal to 0. So you know that if you have any complex number, it can be represent in three different ways. Cartesian form, polar form and exponential form. So I'm going to use the second form that is polar form. So therefore, we can write z is equal to r cos theta plus i sin theta. Okay, so you know that r means modulus of z. They have mentioned that thing there, right? And theta means argument of z. But what, what is the meaning of z? So you know that z is equal to w raised to n. So we can put it here. w raised to n is equal to r cos theta plus i sin theta. Okay, so the same thing we can write in this way r cos theta plus 2k pi plus i sine theta plus 2k pi. So let me tell you the uh, what I'm doing here. Okay, so what is meaning of it? So if I put k is equal to 1, we will have 2 pi there. We are adding 2 pi in theta in that angle. If I put k is equal to 2, we will have 4 pi. If I put k is equal to 3, it will be 6 pi. That means I'm adding uh, angle n k pi where k is an even number getting so 2 k pi we are always having an even number so see what is the geometrical meaning of it 2 pi that means 360 degree that means one complete circle if you have any point here and if you add an angle 2 pi that means we are completing one circle here so you will reach at the same point if you add angle 4 pi in that angle of that uh, complex number then 4 pi that means two complete circles we reach at the same point if you add 6 pi that means three complete circles so it will be at same point so in this way if you add k number of circles okay if you if you take a k number of rotations about origin we reach at the same point so therefore if you add 2k pi in an angle doesn't matter we will have the same value right so that's why we could write it what is left hand side w raised to it let us take nth root of both sides, see what will happen. So therefore, w is equal to, I am taking nth root of r here and cos theta plus 2k pi plus i sin theta plus 2k pi whole raised to 1 by. So by taking nth root of both sides. See the same thing we can write in this way, nth root of r, right? Here we have cos theta plus i sin theta bracket raised to something. So definitely we can go for de Morvis theorem. That de Morvis theorem said, says if you have any power, we can write as a multiple of that angle. So therefore, cos by de Morvis theorem, we can write theta plus 2k pi divided by n plus i sin theta plus 2k pi divided by n. Okay, so let me mention here by de Morvis theorem. By d morvis theorem okay so by d morvis theorem we could write it hmm. okay so let us go further now 
see here we can put different values of k k is any integer getting so you can put k is equal to 0 1 2 3 4 and so on so therefore if i put k is equal to 0 we will have the first solution if i put k is equal to 1 we will have the second solution for k is equal to 2 we will have the third solution so by putting different different values of k we will have different different solutions right so let me do that so therefore let me simply mention for different values of k we are having a different solution w k so kth solution we can mention so this is nth root of r that is a fixed number we have right and what we have here cos cos theta plus 2 k pi by n plus i sine theta plus 2 k pi by n so let me mention here where k is equal to 0 1 2 and so on so you see we can go up to n minus 1 so let me tell you what is the reason behind it so if i go if i go for k is equal to n okay if i go for k is equal to n then we will have the same solution which we get for k is equal to 0 okay if i go for k is equal to n plus 1 then we will have the same solution which we get for k is equal to 1 that means uh, see first n solutions will be different will be distinct but next solutions will be repeating so that means if you go for n solution then we will have the same solution which we give, get for k is equal to 0 so only we get n number of distinct solutions okay so, so these are required answer make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you bye bye